In this video I'm going to go through the settings page to configure your copy of Sol. So the first thing is the delays. This is the monitor and retry delays that your tasks will initially use. The default is a thousand and a thousand, however you can adjust these dependent on the site and release you're going for. You can also make use of this delays button to bring the pop out delays window. This will allow you to change the delays for different groups no matter what page you're on within the bot. So this is more useful to change delays than coming back to settings and changing them here. So most of the time you'll just be using this delays window. You can edit the delays using the plus and minus icons or you can type in your desired delays. As you can see when you change the delays this changes to editing to show you that they haven't actually taken effect yet. You need to hit save and then you'll see that the delays have saved and that'll be when the delays have changed on your tasks. The second thing is the webhook. This is where your checkout and decline notifications will be sent. You're able to enter both a positive and a negative webhook. So the positive webhook being where your success is sent and the negative webhook being where your fails are sent. You can book both webhooks as the same if you don't mind them coming into the same feed, but you can differentiate between the two if you wish. If you don't know how to create a webhook, I'll quickly show you now. So open Discord and create your own server. Then create some text channels, one called success and another one called declines. Or you can just create one if you don't mind them both going into the same feed. Edit the channel, go to integrations, create webhook, copy webhook URL. So I'm going to put this first one into the positive webhook and then go back to the declines and put this one into the negative webhook. I'm now going to click the test button which will send a test notification and we can check here that the decline has gone to the declines one and the success has gone to the success one. Next is notifications. These are simply the desktop and inbot notifications. So by default they're both on. That means you'll be getting inbot notifications in this top notification bar and you'll also be getting desktop notifications to the right hand side of your screen. You can disable these if you wish. Next is quick task. Quick task will be for your monitor and cook groups that you're in. Usually in their monitors they will have buttons for quick tasks and you can configure those to the bots that you own so that when you click this quick task button it will automatically launch a task within your bots. So here you can choose the profile and the proxy list that you want quick tasks to use. So I will choose my default profile and then any proxies that I would want a quick task to use. Then if I do click the quick task button in one of my groups, it will automatically launch a task for that item in Seoul using this profile and this proxy list. The next thing is auto solve. This isn't necessary, but this is for if you make use of AYCD auto solve. Simply put in the Autosolve API key here and access key here and your captures will be routed through AYCD instead of Sol. Beware that if you do enter anything into the Autosolve access key or API key, the bot will presume that you're using AYCD and you'll no longer be receiving captures within the bot. So make sure that if you aren't using Autosolve that these are both kept blank, but if you are, enter your keys here. The final part is import and export. This imports and exports all bot data and settings or a selection that you choose. So import and export of all bot data will be useful for if you're switching machines, computers or going to a server as it will export all your task groups, your proxy to groups, your billing profiles, your capture profiles, your accounts, your cookies. It will take an entire bot save and you'll be able to import this on the new machine. So simply click export, it will save everything as a file to your desktop. Then you can go to your new machine, take this file and use the import button to import this all onto the machine. You can also though from here import or export different parts of the bot. So there's task groups, proxy lists, billing groups, capture profiles, account lists and cookie lists. So you can select these and then import and export if you only want to import or export parts of the bot. This could be useful for example if you want someone to run slots for you, you would only want to export your billing groups. You don't need to give the person your proxies or your captures for example because they're going to be running but you would want to give them your billing groups. So here you can select whether you want all bot data or specific parts here.